back from the run today, and yes, I had a little bit of a eureka moment out there. Let me... from the run today and yes I had a little bit of a eureka moment out there let me explain basically you know I've been doing ultra running uh, for the past four and a half years about and this is my one of my vests that I wear when I'm out there for three hours four hours five hour long runs like long runs up in the mountains especially and a lot of times I'm carrying my phone in a pocket right here and then my GoPro right over here. Sometimes the drone is in the back, which probably looks a little muddy right now. Uh, in addition, I'll have gels. Well, I noticed today running in an urban environment at seven. So today's run 705 a mile, uh, 13 miles. There it is in kilometers on your screen. But I noticed. So remember last week we talked about I want to improve my efficiency and running form leading into the Houston Marathon on January 19th. And so my arm my arm carriage is, I think, one of the most important uh, components of my gait cycle and my, and my running form that I need to improve upon. And I noticed today, wearing the vest, that I was dropping my arms lower. Remember I said, like, up in the mountains when I'm doing mountain running, I often drop my arms? Today, I noticed that I did it again. And I prefer, especially for faster paces, just right here right here kind of a little closer to the body not elbows out like i also noticed my elbows out were my elbows were out a little too wide today instead i wanted to i want to keep them right here right here nice and efficient just kind of a little a little tighter to the body rather than kind of down i don't even know if you can quite see that but down and elbows out so it was a eureka moment for me it tells me that i got to be careful how much i wear the vest over the next six seven eight weeks leading into Houston. Okay, Saucony Mad River TRs pulling their weight in the urban environment. The trail shoes, like through the mud, the, the ice, the snow, they are pulling their weight. It's awesome. And yes, I put the Spenco in there just for a little, that's that green uh, cushion that you saw me put in at the uh, beginning of the vlog, just for a little extra cushion on the concrete and pavement because all the dirt trails right now are completely covered with snow and it's just, it's just not fast enough um for road marathon training to run on snow that's not uh yeah it's just it's just not fast enough there's no other way to say it okay everyone a lot of updates to share with all of you first of all um i'll go with this first okay merch real quick uh, merch is 20 percent off right now in case you did not see the second video that published yesterday down below the uh code for 20 percent off is holiday 20. Holiday 20 merch is 20% off. If you haven't picked any up yet, definitely go down and check it out. I, uh, I explain the merch situation in yesterday's second video and some boxes arrived. Thank you so much. So here's the deal. Uh, I am not a tech guy. I love, I think my, as I've said before, my, my real passion is recovery and recovery gear and tools. Uh, the foam rollers, the stretching uh, band, all those recovery tools that I have. Tech is not my thing. E even like this Sun 2 watch, um, I don't even know. Yeah, I think I gave a full review, but I just, I, 
I don't know all the intricacies of all the running tech gear out there. And heck, let's do it right now. Question of the day, what running tech, what running gear tech, I don't even know how to say it. What running tech are you most excited about? Uh, around, maybe you're, you have something in mind to buy for yourself or for someone else uh, during the Christmas season. So what running tech are you most excited about or for Christmas or for early 2020? Is there a piece of running gear that is tech related uh, that you're excited about? That is the question of the day. Okay, let's open this up. What could this be? Um, okay, thank you FedEx. Oh, what is in box number one? Bo! Oh my my! Can you see that? There it is. The next watch to arrive to the rotation is the Koros Apex Pro. Now, any Koros fans out there, it's a, from what I know, I think they're a newer company spelled C-O-R-O-S. I'll link down to their website down below in the, in the description. Um, this is the Apex Pro. I love, if, it is, if this is a green, well, let's open it up. Hold on, boom. Let's see. Oh, nope, not open. Hold on. There we go. Ready for this? Nope. All right, here we go. I think we're ready now. Ready? Boom. There it is. Oh, it is a green band. Oh, they know me well. They know me well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so real quick, I have the Sun 25. That's what I wore today. I've got the Polar Vantage V, and then the, now the Coros Apex Pro. Believe it or not, I am feeling a little more comfortable with the interface and the overall uh, how easy is it to use all the, the Polar Watch and the Sun 2 Watch. Now I will start putting the Koros Watch through the paces. Unlike running shoes where I'm very familiar and I feel very confident giving my opinions, I don't feel confident yet giving my opinions too strongly when it comes to watches. But just keep giving me time. The more I use all the watches um, every single day that I go out for a run, I will get more and more confident and um, yeah, just confident that I'm giving you uh, sound information and sound opinions on what user inter interface is the easiest to use, et cetera, et cetera. So Koros, you rock, thank you. Next package, okay. This is from, this is actually connects to the watch a little bit. So this is from uh, Europe. And uh, I forget where in Europe. Here we go, pulling this out. Oh man. Oh, so there's there's a note here. Okay. It says Seek Beauty, work hard, and love each other. Seth Demore Sub 219 Edition. Oh my goodness, Sunny. There it is, Sunny. Shout out to Sunny. So what is this? You better believe it, everybody. A stride. You all know once again that I'm not a big tech guy, but I'm willing. If you all are interested in me wearing a stride on my foot to, I guess, uh, track better power numbers, uh, pacing, um, all sorts of different stats. And again, I have no idea how to use this thing. I will be using the stride for all of you and then transferring the data somehow over to Strava. All right, hold on here. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful card. Okay, let's see. So he says, hey Seth, accurate pacing is super important and when you're uh, trying to hit specific paces, I find that nothing comes close to what Stride is doing. Uh, here's to pacing out the perfect sub 219. You inspire runners globally. Your running family is here for you. Oh gosh, this is a journey for a lifetime onwards and upwards. Your friends in Yorkshire. Awesome, Sunny uh, and Jane it looks like. Oh my goodness, I love it. Uh, send our love to true love and the kids, you rock. Oh. Come on now. So this is this is cool. This is cool. Okay, one more package. Thank you, Sonny, and everyone for just the support. Oh, it's it's humbling. It's oh, okay, okay, we got it. What is this guy? Oh man, I don't know. I oh yeah, this is tech related as well. All right, time to rock out, baby. Time to rock out. Woo! Headphones. Okay. Shout out to Jaybird. Jaybird in the house. Vista and Terra Pro, so I don't listen to music when I run. Guess what I listen to a lot right now? Audiobooks. I don't know about you, but I'm really, 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 oh, I, it's so sad because I'm editing the vlog at night. Back three and a half years ago, I used to read at night before going to bed, and I can't do that anymore. I'm just, I'm just too busy and I'm too tired because I'm editing the vlog every single night, and therefore I, I told True Love, like, it makes me so sad. 
I stopped read, like I'm not really reading much. So now it's audio books while I'm running and working out. So I'm, and I listen to podcasts as well. I never listen to uh, music really, uh, sometimes the radio, but this is amazing. Jaybird, uh, this is the Vista, the truly wireless version. And these are the Terra Pros. Um, I've heard incredible reviews uh, for, about Jaybird headphones. So these are headphones for running. And this is, um, they're basically talking, and I'll give, I'll open these up and give you my full thoughts after testing them out, but they're basically, um, the Jaybird is create, they're creating headphones that are not tech. I gotta be careful what I say, it's not tech, it's gear, meaning their headphones are, are designed to be beaten up and rough, they're like, you can drop them in the mud and, they're, and they'll be okay. You can take them rock climbing and if you drop them, uh, drop them off of a cliff, like they should be okay. They're supposed to be really, really uh, high build quality, which I'm always talking about build quality when it comes to running shoes. And so I really appreciate well-built running gear. So this is awesome. Shout out to Jaybird. Again, I will link down to them below. Two more quick updates. Take out your calendars right now. Here we go, I'm pulling up my calendar right now. So when you're watching this, it is Tuesday, December 3rd. If you're watching it on the day it publishes, tomorrow, Wednesday, the 4th, at 7 p.m. Mountain Time is the next running shoe giveaway. 7 p.m. Mountain Time, that's 9 p.m. on the East Coast, 6 p.m. on the West Coast. And uh, again, for everyone over in Europe, we will do running shoe giveaways at, at an earlier time so you all can watch live as well. But the live stream for the 50,000 subscriber mark, it worked. I, I figured out, so I'm using a different camera, which is why I think it worked. So this is good news. Wednesday, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, here in the studio, we've got a lot of running shoes to give away right there, okay? Now, next date. <laughs> for everyone in Colorado or anyone around Colorado, Saturday, December 7th, 10 a.m., Wash Park group run will meet at South High School. South High School parking lot, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, Saturday, December 7th, this weekend coming up. We're going to do two laps around Wash Park. It's about five miles. And then uh, maybe I'll have a little surprise for everyone at the end of the group run sound good i love you thank you for being here i will send out a a notification on the demore global running strava group for the group run boom 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 thank you thank you thank you humbled humbled that's it humbled i'm gonna toss it back to just goodness just tossing it back to goodness because i love you guys all right see you guys tomorrow bright and early and uh, onward and upward, butter that bread. Butter it all day. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.